When the crisis struck in February, it was a health crisis first. After some initial attempts by member states to respond individually, Europe quickly pulled itself together and tackled this unprecedented challenge. Europe is on track to work its way out of this crisis. But it's already apparent that the whole world will reach a crossroads when the health aspect and the economic aspects come together. Our economies will only pick up full speed and indeed our lives will only go back to normal when we have an effective and safe vaccine against this virus. Today we are proposing our European vaccine strategy. At its core, joint action at EU level will allow all member states to increase the likelihood of finding an effective vaccine and to secure the necessary volumes for our citizens at a good price. Doing so, we also avoid harmful competition amongst each other and we deliver tangible European solidarity. We have been working closely since many weeks with member states and with pharmaceutical companies in order to set up this joint approach. Last Friday, health ministers agreed to work together in this way. We will now act very quickly because in overcoming this pandemic, every day matters. At the same time, the European Commission is supporting the idea of an universal and affordable access to vaccines, especially for the most vulnerable countries who struggle to secure enough vaccine for their people on the global market. The European Union already coordinated a global pledging to raise close to 10 billion euro. But much more is needed. And that's why we will continue to mobilize funding and political commitment from across the globe. We are working towards a global summit on the 27th of June. We will explore with our international partners whether a significant number of countries would agree to pool resources for jointly reserving future vaccines from companies, while at the same time making advance reservations for low- and middle-income countries. The high-income countries would then act as an inclusive international buyers group. They would thus accelerate the development of safe and effective vaccines and help maximize access to them across the world for all who need it. When it comes to fighting a global pandemic, there is no place for me first. Europe is not an island. Our economies are tightly connected, not only amongst themselves, but also with the rest of the world through global trade, travel and cooperation. Only when the economies of our trading partners will recover, Europe's economies will thrive again. And only when the world will be safe from the coronavirus, European citizens will be safe as well.